my, my poem is inspired by one of my clients. I'm a tax preparer here in San Francisco who just uh, lost her apartment from Ellis Act. So this, the title of this poem is Ellis Act in San Francisco, California. Hundred twenty days, I'm still angry at the fog that curls and hangs above the rooftop of my apartment, like a ghost at the pass of this Victorian house. Morning ache, I feel the angry turn of my landlord. Still is looking for me anyway, oblique to get me out of this contract. Hardened, encrusted, banister, I stayed at this apartment for a hundred months. Ink stains, time prints on all, letters, calendar bills, and even the last sticky notes. These tilted chairs, I cling to climb the rugs. Letters and all the yawning fire escapes. The landlord's silence frightens me most. There is something behind the smoke alarms. Even the cockroaches knew something is coming up. The burden I carry pushing my baggage, outgrown garbage to another place. His silence should have warned me through the years. The look brought knives during his last visit. I know my rights, I said, trying to tie up loose ends looking for some conversation, for sentiment, for memory, and unclutter the tables and the closets. I keep a child in my room, I said. I cannot leave him behind. My only hope, my only life. Are you deaf in both ears, I ask him, hearing the cries of the abandoned child. No sound, he replied, as I locked the door and closed the windows, my child still screaming in my mind. Thank you so much. <laughs>